Parsha Bahar begins with the mitzvah of Shemitah, but interestingly, it does not use the word Shemitah to describe the mitzvah. Mm -hmm. First Pasuk reads, Vaidabra Hashem el Moshe Bahar Sinai Lemor, Daber el Bnei Yisrael Viamarta Lehem, Kitavo el Aaret Asher Anino Tein Lochem, Vishavta Haaret Shabbat Lashem. Shemitah is referred to as a Shabbat Lashem. And what's most interesting is, the Pasuk says, when you come to Eretz Yisrael, the first thing is, even though technically, in order to get to Shemitah, you have six years of working, the Torah begins with the Shabbat Haaretz. And I think on a deeper level, what the Torah is implying is that there's a caution, a need for caution when we arrive at Eretz Yisrael. Right off the bat, we arrive, and we're ready to go, and we think we're in control, and we want to do this, and we want to do that. Stop. Take a minute to reflect. Realize the land is from Hashem. Mm. Focus on not working before you focus on working so you can understand what your place is to be working in the first place. And as much as Shabbat Haaretz is important after the work, Shabbat is also important before the work. And that's why man experienced the world with Shabbat first and whole second being created at the end of the week. And the Gemara tells us, one opinion says a person stranded on a desert island doesn't know when Shabbat is. He begins like Adam Arisham, experiencing Shabbat and then working. The first thing we're told about Shemitah is that when we get to Eretz Yisrael, Ba'ita l'cha b'shavta ha'aretz Shabbat l'ashem. A few seconds later, the Torah adds another dimension to this Shabbat ha'aretz. It says, Ve'ita Shabbat ha'aretz l'chem. And interestingly, as much as the Shemitah is a Shabbat ha'aretz l'ashem, it's also, in contrast, but completing it, lochem. And the lochem here is l'ochla l'cha u'liavdecha v'la'amatecha v'l'schircha v'l'behemtecha v'l'chaya. And I think the lochem has two connotations. The first is that everyone should be involved. It's an egalitarian eating experience. Not just all people, the avodim and the ger, but all beings. The chaya, the behemam. And maybe the point is, it's a return to the natural state of our realization that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Boseach et Yado Mazbiya Lachol Chai Mazon V'Ratzon That Hashem is Hazan et Olam Kulo B'Tuvo And here we eat together and share together with all those who are receiving it from Hashem And I think additionally the Lachem as opposed to Hashem means that we should take the opportunity even ourselves to appreciate with all the rest but also ourselves Life is about understanding our place in the world, the cessation of work, in order to appreciate who we are and how we're here and what our place is on the land, but also to be able to appreciate and enjoy the gifts of this world mm -hmm. and not just to spend our time accumulating and being tense about accumulating, the ability to step back and appreciate and enjoy. Let's hope that we can translate this lesson for ourselves even in an Anshmita year of Kitavo Shabbat Haaretz. Lashem and Machem. Shabbat Shalom.